Brian pointed out, we have some uh, very uh, technically uh, new machines as well as some of the machines that have been a staple of the industry for many years. So Brian has the benefit here of taking all the students from the 101 basics all the way up to the newest cutting edge technology. And what are the job opportunities, Brian, for those that graduate from this program? You can be either a CNC operator, a CNC setup operator, or a programmer. My main goal here is to be a setup person operator because that job is the most stable. You can, you can lose a program or a setup man, you can, cannot lose. This is very important in the chain of command. And how long is the training program here? It's nine months. Actually, it's nine months hands off now. We do nine straight months all hands on. And then what is the certification that they get if they pass the, the certification you exam? You have city colleges, advanced certificate, and you can get five NIM credentials as well. You can get NIM safety, NIM program set up, and NIM operator all in my classes through the nine months. And typically, how many students do you have for each class? Around 15. You keep the class classes small so they make it the hands on, the hands on there. Remember, this 2010, not 2005. In 2005, there was a high need for CNC operators. Over the past five years, that has changed where the demand now on the side of the companies is somebody who can not only operate the machine, but also set the machine up for daily production runs. And the reason why we're utilizing Brian's students because Brian and his class definitely received the feedback given to companies at advisory meetings at different different types of manufacturing trade shows, which you know all embedded into the students make the product that's coming out of Humboldt Park that much more applicable for industry because we know that they're going through all the A to Z of certification and really taking to heart what the industry is asking as far as the training program. So there's one question. This is a computer. Can this computer be connected to the internet and can drawings be sent from another country? It can. You gotta have, I think it's called direct, direct miracle control hookup and you can do it. We use USB to download our program. We don't have the, the fancy equipment, but. And what, what is the, the, the drawing program or the architectural program that you're using to actually create the, the schematic we use this thing called AutoCAD. Mm -hmm. We design our par parts, our uh, prints on AutoCAD. And where do you do that? We do it at our workstations. Okay. Each workstation have an AutoCAD program in it. And the students have it in their computers as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, well thank you, Roland.